Hello, everybody. This is UFC Wildcat. And I'm Powder Blue Bolts. And this is Brand New. And this is the third episode of our Bowl Special Series. This week, we're going to be talking about the San Diego County Credit Union Point Setta Bowl. And in this matchup, we've got BYU facing off against former WAC conference rival San Diego State. Yeah, and uh, this is going to be a real, real good game. Uh, probably pretty low scoring based on their defenses and their offenses. And uh, we've got some key players um, that we're going to feature. And starting off with BYU, we have um, their quarterback. And the reason I say their quarterback is because as of right now, their quarterback situation is a little uncertain. Um, the majority starter, uh, Riley Nelson, has uh, faced some injuries over the season. But um, his decision to play will be pretty much a game-time decision. Um, but other than that... We have James Lark, and he's actually carried this team to a pretty impressive record at 7-5. Uh, and five. and uh, when he had to come in for Riley Nelson due to some rib injuries in the Nevada game, he led them to an overtime victory, and since then has won all four of his um, starts. And he is 34 for 50 for 383 yards and six, six touchdowns in his first collegiate start at quarterback. So watch out for their quarterback situation, depending on who it is. They, um, but either uh, quarterback would be a pretty good candidate. Yeah, I think it's going to be really coming down to like the quarterback situation. BYU has a decent running game. And um, brand new, you want to hit up on the uh, halfback for BYU? Yeah, definitely. Uh, Jamal Williams averaging 4.9 yards a carry, 11 touchdowns on the season. Definitely a battle of offense versus defense. It's going to be a really good one. I'm really excited about uh, Jamal Williams. He's a very good halfback. I mean, he's he's got some explosion. I mean, if the BYU offense is going to go anywhere, it's definitely going to start with him. And also for BYU, their defense, this is the reason why they're having actually a decent season. I mean, they've competed in all their games. Every game's been close. They lost to Utah by three, lost to Boise State by one after Bronco Mendenhall had a brain-dead decision where he tried to go for two for in the win. Um, their only game that they got dismantled was Oregon State. It was a 42-24 to loss. But they even played the national championship um, rep- representative in Notre Dame. They only lost by three, and that was even close. So... I think right now their defense is what's going to really drive them. And the heart and soul of this defense is Kyle Van Noy. He is a big playmaker. He he is the emotional leader of the defense, and he's going to be a really big force into whether this defense is going to play well and shut down a pretty good San Diego State offense or if they're just going to get rolled over. And now for San Diego State, our three key players for them. Um, right now, um, Ryan Katz. He was an old Oregon State quarterback, and he even transferred to San Diego State to be the quarterback. But he got hurt this year, and since he's been hurt, Adam Dingwell has come in, and he's played very well. The sophomore came in off the bench and sparked the San Diego State offense to a big win against Nevada, and they even and he won all of his four starts, including a 21-19 upset of the number 19th ranked Boise State Broncos. And that knocked Boise State out of a potential BCS Bowl and even solidified a good, um, actually solidified a conference championship or a coach championship for the Mountain West Conference. Tyler, you want to give us a little heads up on their main offensive weapon, though? Yes. uh, For San Diego State, they are predicated on the run. This team likes to run. They don't really like to throw that much. And that all starts with Adam Muema. He has 1,355 yards on the season, 6.5 yards per carry. So that's that's going to be real key. And 16 touchdowns. And this guy can just explode. He can beat you by being fast. He can run over you, just really anything. And San Diego State is a team that loves, loves to run. But it's going to come at a price because they're facing the number two rush defense in the BYU Cougars. Oh, man, that's very scary. You never want to, you know, there it is again, a strength on strength right there. It's going to be really scary. And hopefully... You know, it's a good game, but um, they also have a little change of pace back. You want to hit us up on that brand new? Yeah, like Powder Blue Bolts touched on, uh, Walter Kaziz, uh, backup, eight touchdowns on the year, averaging 5.1 yards a carry. And really, uh, they'll be able to win this game if they can put some long drives together, take time possession off the clock. That's going to be a definite. You're going to need that against a BYU defense. If you can drive the ball and keep the offense away from a very lackluster BYU offense, then you're going to find yourself in a good place. Alrighty, so what is the key of the game for BYU? Now, BYU being the number five overall defensive team in the nation and um, having the number two overall rushing in the na- 
uh, rush defense in the nation. That's going to be the key for them, playing like they play and stopping the run because that's what San Diego State needs to do. It's the old unstoppable force in San Diego State versus the immovable object in BYU's defense. So you're going to ne- really need to rely on Kyle Van Noy to lead that defense to a victory. Yeah, that's crazy. I'm looking right here. BYU, they average giving up 14.7 points a game. In San Diego State, they average 35.1 a game. So it's going to be a big battle there. It's going to be literally, the if you want to just tune in for just the BYU defense against the San Diego State offense, that's going to be just good enough right there. Um, what's the key of the game for San Diego State? Okay, yeah, definitely the key for San Diego State is definitely going to be able to hold on to the ball and just run the ball, take time off the clock. Yeah, I mean, keeping the ball away from a – pretty uh mediocre BYU offense is going to be key and if they can you know keep the game theirs control the pace you know keep BYU on their heels that's going to be big for San Diego State all right let's go with predictions um powder blue bolts what's your prediction for the game um this is going to be a real real low scoring affair um BYU has had several games on the season where they've scored they only scored six points against Boise or I'm sorry yeah six points against Boise and only six points against Utah State. They won the Utah State game. They lost the Boise game. But those are, again, real, real close games. And this offense at times has struggled while the defense is playing well. And you can't rely on your defense to bail you out every single time. So I think while the defense, yes, they have to play well, the offense has to score points. So I'm going to say BYU 21 and San Diego State 10. All righty. Now, brand new, what is your prediction for the game? Well, obvious, as everyone knows, defense wins championships. Uh, My projection, 24-18 BYU. There's at least a special teams or defensive score on BYU's side of the ball. Wow, that's a bold prediction. All right, I'm going to give you mine. I think one of the toughest things to predict is how well your defense is going to play. While I do agree that defense wins championships, and I do believe that BYU has the defense capable to shut down the San Diego State offense, it kind of scares me to see, you know, they have a good running back. Their quarterback who's been filling in has done really well. He's on a four-game winning streak. It's kind of scary. They beat the number 19 ranked Boise State Broncos. It's, ugh. If I had to choose, I think right now, I'm going right now, it's like really close, but I'm going 10-6. BYU over San Diego State. I'm hoping that Jamel Williams can have like you know one good run or something, get him into a good position and maybe get a score. That's the only way I see BYU winning, and I don't see San Diego State doing a lot. All right, guys, thanks for that. Um, tune in next time when we talk about the Beefo Brady Bowl, St. Petersburg between Central Florida and Ball State. UFC Wildcat, Powder Blue Bolts, and brand new signing out.